Florida is tackling big tech companies like Facebook, Twitter, and Google. The state's governor says he won't put up with any interference with elections. Over the years, however, these platforms have changed from neutral platforms that provided Americans with the freedom to speak to enforcers of preferred narratives. Governor Ron DeSantis is demanding change from big tech. Floridians should have the privacy of their data and personal information protected. Their ability to access and participate in online platforms protected. And their ability to participate in elections free from interference from big tech protected. The Republican governor laid out harsh penalties that big tech could face under a new bill. For example, if a technology company deplatforms a candidate during an election, it will face a daily fine of $100,000 until the candidate's access to the platform is restored. Or if a tech company manipulates a user's access to political content or candidates using algorithms, it would also face daily fines. And there are other measures, too. If one election candidate is promoted above another one in an unequal manner, the value of the free promotion would be recorded as a political campaign contribution and this would be enforced by the Florida Elections Commission. The move follows reports of tech giants suppressing news that was unfavorable to then-candidate Joe Biden while banning sitting President Trump from their platforms. Florida's House Speaker Chris Sprouse commented on the new bill, saying the five families of darkness, Facebook, Twitter, Google, Amazon, and Apple, won't go unchecked here in Florida anymore.